here we are again. <laughs> We're here to share another story with you. The story is called A Birthday for Francis, and it's written by Russell Hoban, and the pictures are by Lillian Hoban. It's the story of Francis and her little sister Gloria. It's Gloria's birthday. And Francis is having a very hard time with that. Let's see how it goes. A birthday for Francis. Get my reading glasses ready to go. It was the day before Francis's little sister Gloria's birthday. Mother and Gloria were sitting at the kitchen table making place cards for the party, and Francis was in the broom closet singing. Happy Thursday to you. Happy Thursday to you. Happy Thursday to you. Happy Thursday. can see, said Francis, and that is why she does not have a birthday. So I am singing Happy Thursday to her. Well, today is Friday, said Mother. Oh, it is Thursday for Alice, said Francis, and Alice will not have H-R-N-D and she will not have G-K-L-S, but we are singing together. What are H-R-N-D? G D and G K L S asked mother. Cake and candy. I thought you could spell, said Francis. I am sure that Alice will have cake and candy on her birthday, said mother. But Alice does not have a birthday, said Francis. Yes, she does, said mother. Even if nobody can see her, Alice has one birthday every year, and so do you. Your birthday is in two months from now, and then you will be the birthday girl. But tomorrow is Gloria's birthday, and she will be the birthday girl. Hmm, that is how it is, Alice, said Francis. Your birthday is always the one that is not now. Francis, said Mother, wouldn't you and Alice like to come out of the, birth of the broom closet and help us make place cards for the party? Francis came to the table and sat down and picked up a crayon. What are you putting on the place cards? She asked Gloria. Pretty flowers, said Gloria, rainbows and happy trees. And Frances began to draw on a place card, but she did not feel like drawing those things. And as she drew, she sang. singing. I'm telling, she said. Telling what, said Mother. Gloria kicked me under the table, said Francis. Mean Francis, said Gloria. Gloria is mean, said Francis. She hid my sand pail and my shovel, and she never gave them back. Oh, Francis, that was last year, said Mother. When Gloria is mean, it was always last year, said Francis. 
but me and Alice, we know SMFO. What is SMFO? asked Mother. Better, said Francis. We know better. Goodbye. I will be out of town visiting Alice for two weeks, and I'll be back for dinner. So she went to the broom closet and took out her favorite broom. Let's go, champ, she said. I'm ready to ride. And Francis climbed onto the broom and galloped out of the kitchen while Mother and Gloria finished the place cards. And then Gloria went out to play while Mother wrapped her presents in the living room. Frances was riding back and forth on her broom on the porch. And as she rode, she sang a song for Alice. Everybody makes a fuss. Everybody makes a fuss. For birthday girls who are not us. For birthday girls who are not us. Girls who take your pail away. Girls who take your your pail away. Eat cake and QPM all day. Eat cake and QPM all day. Is QPM ice cream? Mother asked Gloria through the window. Yes, said Gloria. She climbed up on the porch rocking chair and looked through the window at the boxes Mother was wrapping. What is Gloria getting from you and from father for her birthday? asked Francis. She's getting a paintbrush, a paint box, and a tea set, and a plush pig, said Mother. Oh, I'm not going to give Gloria any present, said Francis. That is all right, said Mother. And Francis began to cry. What is the matter, said Mother? Why are you crying? Oh, everybody is giving Gloria a present but me, said Francis. Would you like to give Gloria a present, said Mother. Yes, said Francis. If I had my next two allowances, I would have a nickel and two pennies and another nickel and two pennies and I could buy a chompo bar and four balls of bubble gum for Gloria. I think it is very nice of you to want to give Gloria a birthday present, said Mother, and she gave Frances her next two allowances. And that evening, Father took Frances to the candy store to buy a chompo bar and four balls of bubble gum for Gloria. And as they walked home, Francis said to Father, Are you sure that it is all right for Gloria to have a whole chompo bar? Maybe she's too young for that kind of candy. Maybe it will make her sick. Well, said Father, I do not think it would be good for Gloria to eat chompo bars every day, but tomorrow is her birthday, and I think it will be all right for her to eat one. Frances thought about Gloria and the chompo bar, and while she thought, she put two balls of bubble gum into her mouth without noticing it. She chewed the bubble gum and she squeezed the chompo bar a little. Chompo bars have a nice soft nugget part inside, said Francis. And there is a chewy caramel part around that. And the outside is chocolate. Probably Gloria could not eat more than one half of one. Oh, Gloria loves sweets, said Father. And I am sure that she can eat the whole chompo bar. That is why it is such a good present for her, and you were very nice to think of it. Yeah, said Francis, and I spent two allowances on Gloria. While Father was thinking, of, while Francis was thinking about the two allowances, she put the other two balls of bubble gum into her mouth and she chewed them. 
and she squeezed the chompel bar and she sang Chompel bars are nice to get Bar, would you? said Francis. Oh, it is not glorious yet, said Francis. I can hardly understand what you are saying, said Father. Is there something in your mouth? Ah, uh, I think maybe there is bubble gum, said Francis, but I don't remember how it got there. Well, maybe I should take care of the chompel bar until you are ready to give it to Gloria, said Father. All right, said Francis, and she gave the chompel bar to Father to take care of it. The next day was Gloria's birthday, and the party was that afternoon, and the cake was ready, and the table was set, and mother was making hot chocolate, and there were little baskets of gumdrops and chocolate-covered peanuts for everyone, and there were place cards and party poppers for mother and father, for Francis and Gloria, for Gloria's friend Ida, and for uh, Francis's friend Albert. And Albert was the first friend to arrive and he and Francis sat down in the living room while they were waiting for Ida. What are you giving Gloria for her birthday? Francis asked Albert. A little tiny truck in a little tiny box, said Albert. The kind that costs 50 cents, asked Francis. That's right, said Albert, but my mother gave me the money for it. I am thinking of giving Gloria a chompel bar, said Francis, but I am not sure. I might and I might not. I had to spend almost two whole allowances on it. That's how it is when it's your own sister, said Albert. I had to spend my allowance money on my little sister when she had a birthday. I gave her a yo-yo, but she's not high enough off the ground for a yo-yo, so I get to use it. Little sisters are not much R-V-S-M, said Francis. Good, said Albert. That's right, said Francis. No, I guess not, said Albert. They can't catch, they can't throw. And when you play hide and seek, they always hide in places where part of them is sticking out. And they take your sand pail and your shovel too, said Francis. Sometimes they pull the button eyes off dolls that have button eyes. And sometimes they break your crayons so there are no long ones left in the box. Sometimes they put water in your mud pies when you don't want them to. I don't think many of them deserve a chompel bar. You can't use a chompel bar over and over like a yo-yo, said Albert. One time and it's gone. You should at least get part of it. Hmm, that's right, said Francis. Here is Ida now, said Mother, and now the party can begin. When do I get the presents? said Gloria, as they all sat down at the places where their place cards were. First, said Father, your mother will bring out the cake, and I will light the candles, and then we will all sing happy birthday to you. And then you will make a wish and blow out all the candles, and then you get your presents. I know what to wish, said Gloria. Oh, don't tell, said Ida. It won't come true if you do, said Albert. 
Here comes the cake, said Mother, and she put it on the table and Father lit the candles. And then everybody sang, Happy birthday to you. But Francis did not sing those words that the others were singing. Very softly, so that nobody could hear her, she sang, said Mother to Gloria, make your wish and blow out the candles. I want to tell my wish, said Gloria. Oh, no, no, said Mother and Father and Francis and Albert and Ida. Just say it inside your head and blow out the candles. Gloria said her wish inside her head and blew out all the candles at once. Hooray, said everyone. Now your wish will come true, said Mother. This is what I wished, said Gloria. I wish that Frances would be nice and not be mad at me because I hid her sand pail and shovel last year. And I am sorry, and I will be nice. She told, said Ida. Now her wish won't come true. Oh, I think it will come true, said Mother, because it is a special kind of good wish that can make itself come true. Well, said Francis to Gloria, I think your wish will come true, too. And I have a present for you. And I owe you four balls of bubble gum. Now is it time for the presents, said Gloria. Yes, said Father. Father and Mother gave Gloria the paint box and the tea set and the plush pig and Albert gave her the little tiny truck and Ida gave her a little china baby doll. Francis had wrapped the chample bar in pretty paper and tied it with ribbon and now she got ready to give it to Gloria. What is it? asked Gloria. It is something good to eat, said Francis. And I will give it to you in a minute, but first I will sing happy birthday to you because I really did not sing it before. Happy birthday to you. Francis, and she squeezed the chumple bar. Happy birthday to you. And then she stopped and rang. Happy birthday to you, sang Francis, and she squeezed the chumple bar. Happy birthday to you. And then she stopped and rested a little. You can have a bite when I get it, said Gloria. Francis took a deep breath and finished the song. Happy birthday, dear Gloria. Happy birthday to you. Here, said Francis. And she squeezed the chample bar one last time and gave it to Gloria. You can eat it all because you are the birthday girl, said Francis. Thank you, said Gloria. And as she quickly unwrapped the chompa bar, she said, This is a good present. And she ate it all because she was the birthday girl.
a birthday for Francis. Happy Chompa!